Item number 18, purchase of planning, building permit, and business license software and implementation services to provide for online permit applications. Uh, plan review, business license applications and renewals presented by Brian Hansen, our senior information technology analyst. Brian. Good evening, Mr. Give, Mayor. Members give us what you got. See what I can do. So tonight I bring for you uh, the purchase of land management and business license software and the implementation uh, staff report. So first I want to give you a little background on this project. Um, our existing land management and business license software is SunGuard's Panimation Plus series. The city purchased this software in 1997, so it's, it's a little old. Dated. Um, yeah. Uh, over the past uh, 19 plus years, we've gone through several upgrades and added new features and services. Um, but the challenge has been is that with the aging software, it just doesn't provide the online services that we desire. So SunGuard does not have a roadmap for providing uh, enhanced services. Uh, their suggestion is to migrate to one of their other products. Um, so it's essentially kind of an end of life product. Um, staff, along with the uh, council, recognize areas of need. Um, for improvement and two committees were formed to uh, on, as separate projects to look at both the land management and the business license software. As staff worked its way through the evaluation process we realized that our goals overlapped and the committees combined, combined to focus our efforts on finding the best solution. So we put together some goals. Um, committee recognized that we want to provide enhanced level of online services with an emphasis on usability and features. The software must have the ability to submit permit applications online along with digital plan submission and review. The software must have the ability to submit and renew business license applications along with online and email uh, notifications. The software needs to integrate with the existing GIS so that projects are tied to parcels and we can use spatial rules to establish fees and restrictions so we can use boundaries within the map to identify what type of fees we're going to charge or what kind of requirements might be um, involved with that particular permit. And there needs to be a tight integration between permit and business license modules um, to satisfy business rules. So an example I have is, you know, a, con a, a contractor applies for a permit. Uh, the software checks for an existing business license. And if it does not find one, it requires the contractor to apply for a business license before it will allow them to get a permit. That's all done all automatically, so no no uh, interaction from a person to do that. And the solution needs to be cost effective. We wanted to make sure that we were getting the most value for the funds invested. So the committee evaluated six firms that provide either land management software, business license software, or both. Um, shown here are the firms that we uh, evaluated. Um, after we evaluated these options using the goals I previously showed you, uh, the committee recommends that we uh, select Acela Civic plat Platform. So why Acela? So Acela provides online permit applications with plan submittal and full electronic plan comparison and markup. They provide online business license applications and renewals with email notifications. Acela integrates with existing city GIS for rules and history, so we can go back and see what projects happened at different areas. The permitting and business license modules are fully integrated. Acela is the most cost-effective offering for the features provided, meeting all that goals outlined by the committee. And then some of the other reasons that the committee selected Acela include Acela is a West Coast company. They're West Coast Support Center, so support is available during the hours that we work, not on East Coast time, which is a huge benefit. Um, there's wide local agency adoption with an active local user group. Um, some of the local agencies using Acela include the City of Roseville, City of Sacramento, City of West Sacramento, and the County of Sacramento. Um, so a large user base in this area, so a lot of different agencies we can bounce ideas off and um, use to our advantage. And the last one is that Cella participates in open source and Code for America projects. They have an open API so that open source projects can utilize the data stored in the Cella Civic platform, and they can create enhanced services and application using that data. So while the application itself is not open source, they participate in the open source community, so it, there's a lot of benefit there. So here's our recommendation. A, authorize the city manager to approve the purchase of software licenses from Acela of San Ramon, California, 
an amount not to exceed $30,447, and B, sign a professional services agreement with the Sidwell Company of St. Charles, Illinois, for implementation services in the amount not to exceed $45,444, with the total project costs not to exceed $75,891, and finding that it's in the best interest of the city. And with that, I'll answer any questions. Any questions of Brian? Yeah, through the mayor. Brian, have you checked with other cities that uh, perhaps have used this software from this company and their their recommendations? We have. We've spoken with several uh, different agencies that are using it, and we actually went on site to West Sacramento. Um, West Sacramento is actually using both for both business license and for permitting. Um, so they were a great example because that's exactly what we want to do. Um, and they gave it a very glowing review. They're very happy with their software. They're very happy with the services provided, and they're very happy with the company as well. Um, so that was a, a really big selling point for us in, in selecting a seller. Okay, great. Thank you. The only point I'll make on that is uh, West Sacramento has been very aggressive on being um, one of the top, being able to get business done quickly. Because uh, I know being on SACOG the short time I was, a couple of years uh, they had discussed that. And uh, so um, them having a good approval of it was uh, uh, very uh, pleasing to me that we're going that direction. As they've done a good job with what they've utilizing that. In just my comments, uh, Brian, thank you. Um, I think it's important for the city of the city and, and certainly uh, recognition that we needed uh, across staff, all staff here at Yuba City, that we needed a better way uh, and and the technology of today to build to uh, integrate um, our services here. What we expect um, builders and developers in in much of this um, to build it to come forward with projects and not be delayed because of paper constraints and, and everything else. They can move through the process quicker, cleaner. Um, the online process will allow for that. The, the, uh, the equipment that goes along with this, I'm, I'm certain is probably with some couple larger screens uh, <laughs> for some of our, our plan check review and, and things like that over at FIRE and, and here in planning. More than likely we'll be looking at that as well as um, tablets for like uh, inspections and stuff like that because they do have online applications so that they can actually do inspections in the field and approve them and submit them in the field without ever coming into the office. So and, it streamlines it quite a bit. Yeah, and and I think that it, it's uh, important uh, that this be an open source um, uh, data set first and, and that um, Code for America has worked with them and it was through West Sacramento that Code for America uh, worked with them. But this gives us an opportunity uh, to be able to develop uh, applications uh, for uh, the user, the the street level user, to build to to um, have tools in hand, and and we can continue to streamline this process over time uh, here in the city. So thank you for your efforts and your team of of individuals who I noticed went uh, unnamed, but uh, <laughs> Sorry. but everyone keep it short. <laughs> yeah, but every everyone uh, that has worked on this, uh, I think this is a great achievement. This was one of my goals uh, during the year, was to bring this forward. Um, and um, I think that, that we're getting exactly what, what we've asked for. So, so thank you uh, very much, and to the team, and to the staff um, that supported uh, this whole review and, and coming to this conclusion. So thank you. Through the Action mayor. from the council. Through the mayor like to move uh, for approval of this item with recommendation recommendations a and b second that motion we have a motion and a second all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye aye again thank you very much thank you let's get that stuff in house and get it fired up